God, you looked up when she approached you giving you a disgusting look. I'm so sorry, it was an accident. I'll pay for it. Please forgive me. You said trying to collect the broken pieces of vase which dropped by the slight hit of your elbow which was completely unintentional as you didn't realize there was a vase behind you. Who do you think you are, huh? People like you just come to these luxury stores just to satisfy your eyes by looking at these branded stuff and walk away without buying anything because it costs a bundle of money which you can barely save after 4 or 5 years. And now you think you can pay the price of this vase? Do you know how much it costs? You were so stunned to see the behavior of this lady. She was so rude and didn't know how to behave with her customer, no matter if they are here to buy something or just for a visit. No matter how much it costs, I'll pay and you should be a little bit nice to the customers. She scoffed. Look at this rude brat. Yeah, first you broke the expensive vase and now you are talking back. Do you want me to kick you out of the store? You didn't say anything because you knew she is new employee here because you never saw her when you visited few days back with your sister for her anniversary shopping. If you think you can pay then go ahead, I also wanna see. What's going on there? You both turned to the manager who walked in. Maybe he heard the loud voice of that lady when she was shouting. He walked near. What's happening? Sir, she broke the vintage vase and now yelling back at me. You looked her stunned as how easily she defended herself. The manager looked at you and he recognized you. I'm so sorry, it was an accident, but I'll pay the cost. Please tell me how much is this? She rolled her eyes. It's okay ma'am, you don't have to. I understand it was an accident. I hope you didn't have any bad experience here. The lady looked at the manager confused, no I'm fine and also sorry for the vase. It's okay ma'am, please tell me how may I help you. Actually I came here to collect the order I asked for last week. Sure ma'am, the dress is all ready, please come. You smiled and then looked at the lady one more time before walking away with the manager. She was still processing what's happening because the manager never seems this much polite and doesn't talk to random customers unless they are special ones. The store along with 14 others in the shopping center itself are owned by Jungkook. He has the biggest share in few luxury brands and known as the most successful business tycoon. You are his personal secretary recently hired after so many years working in the same company. Mostly all the staff know that you are his personal secretary and messing up with you can cost them their job. You never show off or try to get any advantage of being his secretary and shop like normal customer. You don't really shop from here but has to come with Jungkook few times and with your sister. You collected your stuff and left from the store. Now that all the legal procedures has done officially, I don't want any delay. We are thinking of starting a day after tomorrow, sir, because till then all the board members will give their opinion too. Jungkook raised his brow. Why day after tomorrow? The board meeting has been conducted already because some members have mixed reactions. We need to at least clarify that. He sighed. Clear it by tomorrow. I don't want to wait anymore. Now meeting dismissed. You all bowed as others started to get up leaving one by one. 
What's next in schedule? He said grabbing his phone before walking towards the exit door followed by you. There is no schedule for today sir. You can rest for today because you have been working this whole week non-stop. Your head hit his back when he suddenly stopped. You backed up a little. Jungkook turned towards you. What about the meeting with Mr. Choi? You went blank for a second because this is the most important meeting which has to be conducted tonight. Jungkook raised his brow finding something suspicious. You forgot about that, right? Uh huh? No, I mean, absolutely not. You laughed awkwardly because you didn't even prepare anything when you have to show up with some data files. Good if you don't, but if you did, then be ready to get a resignation letter. He walked away from there while you hit your head with the file. Ouch, it hurts. Now what should I do? For real? That's so bad. Our secretary name is so calm and innocent. You know, if I were on her place, I might have filed a case against her for insulting me like that. But how did you know that? Maya sighed. I was in the store that day. She accidentally broke a vintage vase for which she was ready to pay but that lady just started to insult her. She was too harsh. The customer service is getting worse day by day. I don't know why they hire such employees. I was planning to go for shopping in that store this weekend but now I won't. I really feel bad for secretary name. Maya nodded. Jungkook was passing from there when he heard all of their conversation. He felt so angry after hearing this. He can't tolerate when someone insults you. He walked to his office clenching his hands. That's rude. You should have at least informed the manager. How can you be so calm after that drama? You took a bite of your sandwich and looked at her and who was getting angry on you for not speaking up for yourself. I was not in the mood and the manager was respectful enough so I thought not to ruin their day and maybe she was newly appointed but I'm sure she might have got the idea by now. I hope she did or if I happen to pass through that store someday I will give a hard slap on her face. You laugh but then you remember about the meeting. Today I thought I would spend some alone time and relax in my bed but I forgot today was we have a meeting. I didn't even prepare the papers and now I'm stressed. Do we have any meeting today? I don't remember. Not you but boss has to attend a meeting with Mr. Choi who is the new partner in Gangnam apartment project. Poor you. You nodded. I'm already lazy to finish those papers. Thank God I have done more than half beforehand. What is when is the meeting? It's around 8. I still have a lot of time. I saw boss leaving the office few minutes ago before coming here. You gave her a confused look. Leaving? Isn't he in the office? She shook her head. No, seriously, I saw him. He didn't even inform me about that. Maybe he's planning something secret for you, she said in a teasing voice. Don't be crazy. Why you always say impossible things? I'm saying the truth. I'm sure the CEO has a thing for you. He always keep you close. You are experiencing a dream life like his wife. My god, he even asked you to help him wearing his coat. How lucky and romantic. 
come out from your fantasies okay that's my job and he's a rich brat who thinks high of himself that i have to help him in wearing his coat so that he will feel superior have you never seen how he get annoyed over small thing he literally show me attitude 24/7 You are seriously so innocent. Now I understood why you never had any boyfriend in school or college because you don't understand the signals. He is a CEO and act all cold just so that people will think how cool he is. But in actual, he hesitate to confess his feelings. That's why he keep you close and always give you work to keep you busy so that you won't leave early. Really? She nodded. You know my guess is never fail. You said suddenly you got a call. You took it out from your pocket and frown to look at the caller ID. What is that? What happened? You looked at her. Why that store manager is calling me? Manager, you nodded. Maybe he come to know and he wants to apologize. Answer it. You answer the phone. Hello? You look that mini. I'm so sorry sir we had no idea please stop sir the employee was trembling while standing in a line whereas the manager was trying to stop Jungkook who was destroying the store he has already created a lot of mess you guys don't know how to talk to a customer i'm going to shut this store today itself that mistake would never repeat again sir please stop we'll be in a great loss already so much has destroyed Jungkook looked at him with a scary gaze. As a manager, you should know what kind of staff you are hiring. I don't want to invest in a place where there is no respect for their customer. And she was the secretary. You know how you should treat her, right? That employee is new. Thus, had no idea who Miss Yan is, but it won't happen again, sir. What's going on? You and Minnie came at the store, whereas manager sighed in relief. My God, what happened here? What are you doing here, sir? Manager, run to you. Ma'am, please help us and stop him. We have already been so much lost. He is destroying everything. Our whole staff apologized to you for the mistreatment by that employee. It will never happen in future again. You were so shocked to hear that Jungkook did all this mess just because of that. But how did he know you never shared this incident with him? There won't be any staff to do that in future. With that, he threw a vase on the floor, making you all flinch. Sir, please calm down. There's already a lot of destruction you have created. Please, sir. He didn't stop, so you loudly called his name, making everyone there shocked. Jungkook! His hand stopped as he slowly looked at you. Minnie put her hand over her mouth and when you realized what you have said, you started to sweat. Uh, uh, I mean sir, please stop now. That's enough. You squeezed your eyes tightly, feeling embarrassed. The lady who insulted you earlier came out in front of and properly apologized to you. Please forgive me ma'am, I was not aware of who you are. This will never happen again. Please forgive me. 
It's okay. You should just treat every customer equally. If a customer is not buying anything, doesn't mean they are not capable of. Maybe they just want to make plan first. Don't treat people differently just because they have low or high status. I got it ma'am. I would never repeat this mistake again. Thank you for understanding. I can never become like you. She said looking at you. This is my last warning here. If this happen again to any customer, get ready to find another job for yourself. They all bowed in apology. Let's go. He walk away from the store ordering you to follow. My god his anger was on peak i told you he likes you shut up he'll hear everything that was so disrespectful you shouldn't have done that sir you keep your mouth shut i'm with you sir you did a great job by teaching them a lesson now they will never mistreat their customers You three stop by a restaurant before going back. How did you came here? Who told you about this? That manager called me and begged to come here as soon as possible. Gosh, he was so terrified. You were too much. But how did you got to know about that incident? I do not remember telling you. I hear someone in the office talking about it. She might be there when this happened. But why didn't you told me? Why would I discuss my personal matters with you? Because I'm your boss. Yes, you are just my boss and not boyfriend to discuss my personal matters. Mini sip his coffee enjoying the drama. So if you have a boyfriend you will discuss all your personal matters with him. He asked a bit angrily. Of course, he has all the rights to know about what's going on in my life. He scoffed seriously. You were confused with his reaction. Well, can I say something? You both looked at her. What? You both fight like a couple. Why don't you start dating? It would be perfect. Your cheeks turn red. Don't get me wrong. You seriously give couple vibes. In fact, like married couple. You looked at Jungkook and you both immediately looked away when your eyes met. Many smiled a little. We should go now. We have a meeting at 8. I need to prepare few things. Relax and finish your food. I have postponed the meeting till tomorrow so you can relax. You looked him surprised. But why? He looked at you. You are not my girlfriend to tell everything. Your jaw dropped while Minnie tried to control her laugh. That's the work of secretary to your knowledge. Leave it. Why would I care? You took a bite of pasta rolling your eyes while Jungkook smiled and shook his head. 